Welcome my dear children. We are continuing with chapter 2, Shapes and Angles. In the previous video, you learned how to measure an angle by using a protractor. Today we are going to learn how to draw an angle with the help of a protractor. So let's start. Children, let's do this question now. Draw an angle with measure 70 degrees. Now you might have observed that ma'am has not given any name to this angle. So beta, you will have to give it a name later. Let's draw the angle first of all. Now we are going to draw one of the arms of the angle. As you are aware, an angle is made with Two rays. That means we need to draw the base ray first of all. So what am I going to do now is just observe. I am going to draw a straight line like this. Let's take this as the end point of the ray. And this side can be extended endlessly. Now. What are we going to do next? I'll place the center of the protractor on this point in such a way so that the baseline is overlapping the base ray. Now just observe as this ray is pointing towards the right. That means the angle is going to open towards the right side. And when the angle open towards the right side, we'll be using the inner scale or the anti-clockwise scale. In other words, you can remember this fact this way. That the base ray should always be pointing towards 0 degree. So whichever scale shows 0 degree, you need to use that scale. Now, just observe on this inner scale, where do we see 70 degrees? It is here. So in front of this big line of 70 degrees on the inner scale, I am going to put a point. Now, I remove this from here and again with the base of this protractor, I am going to join the base line, sorry, the end point of this ray with the other point marked by me. This is how I join it. Now I am going to put the arrow on this side. So let's give it a name children. We are going to name it as let's say cut C U and this is T. Remember the points that we have marked these points should not be really very thick. Now secondly the angle that we have made here is required to be marked by this arc. Clear? Now in front of this I am going to write the measure of this angle and as we have drawn an angle measuring 70 degrees. So I will be writing here 70 degrees. Along with this, in this first part, I am also going to tell you how to write the arms of an angle, the vertex of the angle and the type of angle it is. So I will first write angle CUT is equal to 70 degrees. The vertex of this angle is it is point U. So I will be writing U here and the arms of this angle. Children, please pay attention. How do we write the arms? Always begin from the vertex and then move to the other point. So it is ray you see and the other one is ray ut. So 
these two are the arms or sides of this angle. Now as it is an angle measuring 70 degrees, all the angles which are less than 90 degrees are called acute angle. I have classified the angle also. See, I have written it is an acute angle. I hope this is clear to all. So let's move to part B now. The next angle we are going to draw is angle ZAP and it should be 120 degrees. So again, I'll first draw one of the arms of the angle with the help of the base of this protractor. I'll now mark this as the end point and this side can be extended endlessly. I'll place the center of this protractor on this end point in such a way that the baseline is overlapping the base ray. Now as this arrow is pointing towards the right side, so it clearly shows my angle is going to open towards the right only. And when an angle opens towards the right, we need to use the inner scale. Now, where do I see 120 degrees on the inner scale? It's 90 here in the middle, 100, 110 and this is 120. So, in front of this big line, I am going to mark point like this. I'll remove the protractor now and with the help of its base again we are going to join this point with the vertex or the end point of the base ray you can say. So let's join it children. So here we have an angle which measures 120 degrees. So let's write its name first of all. This point I am going to mark as Z and the vertex, the middle letter is always the vertex so I am going to write it in front of this common end point and the other point which is left is point P. After writing the name of the angle, again I am going to mark the angle with this arc and in front of this I am going to write the measure which is 120 degrees. Now, Beta, you all are aware that this angle, in this angle the vertex is point A, the arms are ray AZ and ray AP. And what type of angle is this or how do we classify this angle as it is more than 90 degrees but less than 180. So this is an obtuse angle. Now we are going to draw angle FUN measuring 55 degrees. I have already drawn the base ray pointing towards the right again. So this is the end point. And I am going to place the center of the protractor on this end point in such a way that the baseline is overlapping this base ray. Now as this base ray is pointing towards the right side, so again we are going to use the inner scale. Or in other words you can say that this base ray is pointing towards 0 degree on the inner scale. So we are going to use the inner scale everybody. Now, where do we see 55 degrees on the inner scale? 55 degrees is not marked anywhere. So, 55 actually falls between 50 and 60. So, this is, this big line in the middle of 50 and 60 represents 55 degrees. So, in front of this, I am going to mark the point. And I am going to remove the protractor to join this point with the end point of the base ray. So let's join it children. Here we have 
an angle measuring 55 degrees. So let's write its name, its angle F U N as maths is nothing but fun. And now I'm going to mark this angle with the arc and write its measure here. It is 55 degrees. Better. The vertex of this angle is point U and the arms of this angle are ray U F ray U N. Let's classify it also. As it is an angle which measures less than a right angle, that means it is an acute angle. Let's move to part D now. Now we are drawing angle ACP but it should measure 40 degrees. What I feel is by now each one of you would have understood when you are required to use the inner scale. So now we are going to learn when to use the outer scale. Better we use the outer scale when the base ray is pointing towards the left. So let's draw the base ray first of all with the help of the base of this protractor. I have drawn a straight line. I put the arrow on this side towards the left and this becomes the end point of this ray. I'm placing the center of the protractor on this end point in such a way that my base ray gets completely covered by this baseline. Now, as the arrow is pointing towards 0 degree on the outer scale, so we are going to use the outer scale now. Where do we see 40 degrees on the outer scale? 0, 10, 20, 30 and this is 40. So in front of this big line, I mark a point. Now I am joining this point with the end point of the base ray. So better, we have got an angle measuring 40 degrees. Let's write its name. It's your choice. Either you begin from this side or you begin from this side. Let's begin from this side now. A, the middle letter should come in front of the vertex and this is P. So I have made angle ACP. I'll mark the angle with this arc and in front of this I'm going to write the measure of this angle which is 40 degrees. So let's recapitulate everybody. The vertex of this angle is point C. The arms or the sides of this angle are ray CA and ray CP. Let's classify it also. As this angle measures less than 90 degrees, so it's an acute angle. Children, let's draw an angle measuring 145 degrees. I've already drawn the base ray pointing towards the left so that you get ample practice of using the outer scale also. I'll place the center of the protractor on this end point of the base ray in such a way that my baseline is overlapping the base ray. Children, all the angles which open towards the left in that case, we use the outer scale. Or you can say, when this base ray is pointing towards zero on the outer scale, so remember to use the measures given on outer scale. My angle should measure 145 degrees. Where do we see 145 degrees on the outer scale? You will not see it. But 145 degrees actually falls between 140 and 150. I do see this big line exactly between 140 and 150. So I mark the point in front of this big line. I'll join this point with the 
end point of the base ray like just wait like this now we have angle measuring 145 degrees as i have not given it any name so we can give it a name now i name it as angle b a t let's mark the angle and write its measure here 145 degrees again we'll repeat the vertex of this angle is a the arms of this angle are rays ab and at and what type of angle is this as it measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees so it's an obtuse angle now we are drawing angle act which measures 105 degrees so let's draw the base ray everybody our base ray is again pointing towards the left and this is the end point i place the center of the protractor on the same point and you all know how that the base ray gets completely covered by the baseline as 0 degree is on the outer scale so let's check where will we find 105 degrees beta it's going to fall between 100 and 110 i have observed many times students committing careless mistake here they either mark between 90 and 100 or they mark between 110 and 120 so beta please be very careful when you are marking an angle which falls between two given degrees so you need to be very cautious there now 105 is between 100 and 110 so this is the big line and i'm going to mark the point in front of this let's join this point with the end point of the base ray beta please make sure that both these rays or the arms or the sides of these angles have a common end point here also children commit mistake this ray might not be meeting the other ray at this point there might be a gap or it's going somewhere from here so which will make the angle wrong so please be very particular about these things so let's give its name now this is a this is the vertex c and this is t let's mark the angle with this arc and write its measure it is 105 degrees so beta the vertex of this angle is c the arms or sides of this angle are ray c a and ray ct and what type of angle is this it is an obtuse angle